Roger, you should talk about big data, but I'm happy to talk about where I think the origin story of data science comes from. Yeah, let's start with that, and then I want to hear about the yeah. I want to hear about the origin story of big data, and then what I should trademark and what domain names I should buy. <laughs> 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 totally. So you know, like part of the thing of data people, especially in that early era of LinkedIn and Facebook and uh, and others was that, that there was a community starting to form of people getting together and, and what do you call themselves? And so people had many different versions of names that were going on. And, you know, it, even going back to the 60s, there's, there's been arguments of people where they found documentation and people titling things data science. And, and, and so it's been floating around and I wouldn't be surprised if we find a lot more examples of what people had been calling data science. What was also going on at the same time is people were trying to figure this out. People were playing around with the terms like analytics scientists and Jonathan Goldman was the guy who came up with that. Pete Skomarat was talking about the idea of a data artist. And that actually got raised at a board meeting at LinkedIn was like, are we painting a palette? Are we creating a palette with, with that? What I recall is, is, and what we put in our book and uh, is, was, when we were getting ready for the IPO for LinkedIn, Facebook was it. Jeff Hammerbacher and I both got together and we were like, hey, HR is breathing down both of our necks. What do we kind of call people? Because we had too many different job titles. And so it was like, well, what's the listing? And what actually went through those is, is, is you start to think about the terms like analysts felt a little too Wall Street. Research scientist was a title that uh, Yahoo had really popularized for where the data scientists sat with Cameron Marlowe and other people. But they've kind of always pushed out to the side of the product process or the product engineering process. And so it was kind of like a little too researchy. If you kind of go with some of the things more statistician or economics or, or any of those, you're creating a war right off the bat. But, but also the term hadn't really quite caught on except for places like at Google with the Hal Varian's team. And, and so what we did is as we kind of went through that list, Jeff actually was the one who kind of was like, well, we're starting to think about this term data scientist. And what I took it back to, it was like, well, that seems plenty reasonable. I took it back to the team and Monica Rigatti actually had the idea of saying, well, we're LinkedIn, we have all the job postings, let's post all the jobs with the different titles and see what everyone applies to. And so we did that, Monica actually constructed the test for it. And, Guess what? Everyone we hired was in the term data scientist. And so that's why it sticks. And so I think a lot of people have gotten caught up in this origin story, but I think there's two parts that are important. One, it exemplifies that this was a team effort. You know, it, it, it's very easy for people to say, oh, DJ and Jeff did this. It's a community wide thing, right? This, this was a broad, diverse community that was all coming together to make this happen. The second is, you know, why did it take off? And not only did we sort of data science our way into this title, but the reason I think it takes off is because no one knows what the hell it means. And, and I literally, I say that with great seriousness because, and, and Roger knows is like, as you kind of watch these fields evolve and you've seen this Lucas tremendous amount through, through all your work over the, over the years is like, people like to put people in boxes. They like to put skill sets in the boxes and they're like, oh, if you're doing data, you're not supposed to do product. If you're doing product, you're not supposed to do engineering. And we're sort of like, why can't we do it all if we've got the skill set? And the data scientist person, people are kind of like, okay, they're smart and they have superpowers. We don't understand them, but they really add value. And if you kind of pull on that string of why do they add value, the reason fundamentally is, is because they're allowed in the room and they have context. And once you have context, you can take your skills and apply it to the problem faster than other people can. If you're enjoying Gradient Descent, I'd really love for you to check out Fully Connected, which is an inclusive machine learning community that we're building to let everyone know about all the stuff going on in ML and all the new research coming out. If you go to wmb.ai slash FC, you can see all the different stuff that we do, including Gradient Descent, but also salons where we talk about new research and folks share insights, AMAs where you can directly connect with members of our community, and a Slack channel where you can get answers to everything from very basic questions about ML to bug reports on weights and biases to uh, how to hire an ML team. We're looking forward to meeting you.